out the best in the kitchen. Hi guys, welcome to Mickey Royal's Kitchen. Today I'm doing delicious for stew. And here we get you delicious recipe and easy ones to try at home with your family and they will love it. Stay tuned. And this is our ingredient that we will be using for our purple stew. We have our star ingredient that is our unripped purple. Yes. And we have some pepper, spring onion, ginger, garlic to blend. And we have some fresh tomatoes. Got a onion chopped onions and green pepper that is very pepper and carrot want to paste <laughs> okay i have that is good mix and i have macro yeah that's my macro and i'm gonna use this ingredient i have my seasons that is my salt my one cube and curry powder and unless tea yeah so let's start let's begin please if today is your first time please subscribe to this channel we are going to start off by adding our our, our unripped purple on the fat pan and then add water and salt to taste yeah we are going to boil it about five minutes we want it soft we want it really soft so that we can incorporate it everything so that it can be very delicious so stir it up and just leave it to boil for five minutes for five minutes after we are done you just turn off the heat and you sieve it and you leave it to rest yeah you need to rest so you know it becomes a time to mm, just finish everything up so we're just going to leave it to rest and I'm going to set up my fire and I'm going to place my eye pan and I'll add some oil to it. Just though you add it as you prefer. Some people I love to use a lot of oil in their stew and some does not. So do it as how you want it to do it. Or you can just follow the recipe one step by step. And I'm going to leave the ingredient I use and the measurement in the description. In this recipe, I use my good meat, but I, a part of it, I did not use a lot of it because I just wanted the touch of it and the taste of it. So you can use any meat of your preferred choice. You can use chicken, you can use good, you know, cow meat, beef, whatever you want. So if you prefer this one, I'll tell you, this will be very delicious so i'm going to fry this for about five minutes and i'm done i'm just going to take it off the heat see how golden brown it looks i just want it this way i don't want it to okay so i take it off and i add my blended ginger garlic, onion, and berry pepper seed, and spring onion, and pepper to it, so we are going to stir this, we are going to stir it, because you don't want it to burn, and some people love to see their oil before, after frying their meat, they love to see their oil before they add, you know, whatever they want to do, but I don't want to leave any you know any taste out so i just love it this way it adds some scent some fragrance and some you know i just don't want to miss out that's why i just add it that way so we do it as you prefer so i let it dry for five minutes and I just added my mental paste and i'm going to mix it well to a cup you can add a little water not too much of water a little water so that it can bind you up stir it up and after you are done stirring it just leave it for you to cook for about five minutes five minutes cooking is step by step you know when you cook step by step not in a hurry step by step and 
you're not gonna get a great result. So just leave it for you to fight for a while. You see? Just look at it. Five minutes, just look at it. But you need to keep on staring at it, checking up on it. So that you don't bang it. Don't bang it. I'm gonna add my fresh tomatoes and my onions. This is the stage that I add into when we have got into the stage. So I'm adding my fresh tomatoes and onions. Yeah, 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 yeah. How to do this food? Mm. You know, the, 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 the. After I, I just left it for it to cook for a while. You see? Let it to cook for a while. I just want the fresh tomatoes to cook for a while. To add the mixture to it. You know, to give it another level of flavor. So just. Mm, this one is smells so good. Cool, so good. Cool. Just can to taste it. It's slow and so good. Just look at that. Just look. I love the scent of it. I just hope you're doing the same thing because I know you're going to get the same results. And I just added my macro to it. I added my macro to it. If I don't want, because I don't want to leave anything out, I will just use a lot of water, of water to clean the plate so that everything comes out this time and I'm just breaking the fishing into the stew you can do that on a plate you can do that on a plate but I forgot to do it so I was doing it in the stew just stand it for a while and leave it on the heat for one minute stand it for a while and just leave it for one minute this time don't take too long you're going to burn this stew so stir it's just stir it again and you need to stir it because you don't want to get it burned and this time around our spices are getting into a salt and one cube i use curry powder and onga steel yeah you can use your preferred seasons so that's what i used and i continue to stir it and i think cooking is the best i'm going to use two large eggs and you can use as you prefer Maybe you prefer to use 10, you prefer to use 5, 3, 4, you can use it. But in here, I just wanted to, to I will just you know, spring it around and I will leave it to cook for a while before I stir it up. You don't need to stir it. Stir it right now. Basically, I just left it for one minute and I started stirring. You don't need to leave it for long because you're going to bend the steam. So I started stirring everything up. Just look at it, and I just added my berry pepper and my carrot. Oh, this food! I can't wait to. I just left it for on the fire for one minute, and I started stirring again. And I'm adding the goat meat to it. Yes, you need to add the goat meat to it. You know, it, it needs to cooperate with everything. Oh goodness! I can't wait to eat this. <laughs> Oh, this is the time for our star ingredient that's on ripped. Opa, yeah, added it. No, I cooked mine, and when I, I was done, I realized it was not that soft. So when I was incorporating it in, I added a, a little bit of water. But yeah, you need to add a little bit of water to it. At least in how to step everything in food. So I just add a little bit of water to it. That's my water. Just add a little bit of water to it so that it can cooperate very well. And I will leave it for it. And I'll cover it and leave it for it to cook for about five minutes. Yeah, we want it very short. We, we know that papa are really hard, so you want it to be soft and you can eat it with any food you want. So we want it to so we add water to it. Water to it for it to cook. Just cover it for you to know the heat to come out and everything looks so delicious. Just look at it. Just look at it. Look at that steel. Just imagine what you're going to eat with it. 
you just imagine how you will eat it. Mm. You see, the smell is another thing. It smells so good, so good. I wish you can taste this. I wish you need to do this one. Often at home, and your family will love it. They will love it. You need to be doing this. Please, so far, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please, please subscribe to this fan channel and become part of this family. I would love to have you as my family. So please become part of this family and please leave a thumbs up. Please just leave a thumbs up to me for me. And if you don't understand anything, just comment below. Comment below. So you need to keep on staring it because you don't want it to burn. And you need to know your heat has to be low. Your heat as you need to be suspended. So you need to keep on staring. It's not going to do anything. Just keep on staring. Okay, so we are going to go. Just look at that. We are done. Just imagine. Just look at that. This is, this is our delicious popcorn steam. Just look at this. You can eat this with any preferred food. Thank you for watching this channel. God bless you. Mm, I love you. Please don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up.